Hey, good day guys. It's Trav here from Trav3A387. So on this video here, I wanted to bring in like a bit of clarification on how to side in your thermal clip-on in a TH35PC to your scope. Now, obviously most people know, or anyone who, who's in the sport and in the hunting sort of game, um, you have to sight your scope to your rifle. So go out, fire a shot at your target, and then get your group, and then bring your, your crosshair down to that to get your um, your scope sighted to your rifle. Now I know this has been done with this rifle. This rifle shoots beautifully. Um, as you would have seen in some previous videos. But anyway, with your thermal, your clip-on, so TH35PC as I said, you have to sight your thermal to your day scope. You can't just put it on as a clip-on. You cannot just put it on and go out and fire it. Um, I tried this and I do have video there where I have shot foxes up close within 10 meters maybe and I've hit target but anything sort of at 100 meters it was all over the place and I did not know what to do. So with the, the thermal clip on, the TH35PC Micro, um, get some batteries out. Now the unit itself, that's what it looks like itself. Now this is this setup here in its, in its form now is set up as a monocular so just Check around at night time, you know, if you like to spot and stuff, you know, that's great. But they do come with the attachments. So also too, that is a monocular, but this can be just changing the settings, can be turned into your scope with a rail, and then it obviously fixes to your rifle. Um, but I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about as a clip-on. Now, these are your Rusin adapters for your different size scopes. This one and this one. So this is for my 50 mil. And then this one is for my 40 mil. So three to nine by 40 one, four to 12 by 50. Now, I've got both different attachments, both different clip-ons. So basically what you do, you just undo this here, like so. And if you've got this one here and you go to set your, there's a setting in here, you press the two top buttons. With this on, it doesn't bring up the setting. So this is where my dilemma come in. But as soon as you put this, together and it's a left hand thread too. I put this on so like such, like so. Normally it's ready to go, but I've put everything away, so I haven't used it for a while. But anyway, so basically now it's it's turned into a clip on, right? Once you turn your device on, your hit micro, you press and hold your power button, right? Press 90 power button, goes on now. Secure it to your rifle. Now, this is an interesting one too. You're gonna to ask how do you get zero? Well, the rifle's zeroed. The, the HIC micro or the thermal, it isn't zero. Like it's not zero to the scope yet, but we're getting to that. They're not going to give you sub MOA. You're not gonna get hold and hold groups. This is gonna be giving you an inch, two inch group. So, you know, if you're wanting pinpoint accuracy, this is not gonna do that. But it's gonna give you that inch to two inch grouping, which is amazing, really. Like this becomes cheating at night time when you're hunting. What you do here, if you wanna, cause obviously when you move this around, it's the zero is gonna come off. Like what do you, how do you fix that? So what you do, you get a piece of uh, black tape or white tape, whatever you wanna do. Put a piece of tape across here, cut it. And then there's your reference guide. So every time you put it on, you just line that up because I'm getting to where we're gonna go with this. You line it up and you line it up every time you put it on. Because in the setting, there's a border horizon, there's a horizon line. Now, you've got to line a horizon line up with your crosshair because if it's like this or like that, and obviously your pitch is still gonna look normal, but it's going to be off. So therefore, your, your crosshair line in the thermal to your crosshair and your scope is gonna be offset, all right? Now finding this out, all right? So then I've gone a bit further in and then you've got your turrets on your scope, but inside here you've got, you hold your two buttons and you've got a, a Y and X axis. So essentially you're bringing your thermal device in as such like that. So you'll be, you fire your rifle and then you, you're hitting your target, say you're hitting here. This is where your rifle shooting is there. You put your thermal on, all of a sudden it's over here and you're chasing it. So you've got to set this up to mate with the scope then everything's mated to the rifle. So in doing that, 
what I'll do is I'll show you guys what I've done and how easy, like it is simple and easy. I'm gonna do the best video I can showing you guys through the scope once this is all on, on how to zero it. It's easy, it is easy and once you get it done, it's happy days, it's pretty much plug and play and off you go. So, right, bear with me guys, I'll get some batteries in this and then we'll talk a bit on how to sight this in and happy days. All right guys, so we're looking through the scope with the thermal clipped on to the scope. Right, so now it's in this clip on, clip on state. If you're looking through the scope, it looks like you're looking dead straight at me, but you're not. It's reflection off the glass pane window. Now, I've accessed the setting by pressing the two buttons. Now you see that there's a red line there. It's a little bit hard to see, I understand, um, but the camera's doing it the best it can. That red line is your borderline. So basically, it gives you, you know, your flat, your horizontal um, guide. Now you watch, if you undo your clip on, bring it back. See it changes, turns. So that's that tape reference. Use a piece of tape and it'll get you back on the square every single time. Now, this part here is how you, you sight your thermal to your scope. Because at this point in time, it's not. So you'll think your rifle's out of whack or something's going on, but it's not. It's, it's plain as, it's just gonna be straightforward, basically. Now, bear with me guys, it's gonna be a bit difficult because I can't see properly, but you basically go to your setting. Now we're in the setting, now watch this. See the screen's moving across and then moving back. So it's actually sighting the thermal to the scope, not anything different. So now it's going down, now it's going up, All right? It's as easy as that. Like once you get into that into that point, it's very, very straightforward to do. So we'll go up top here and I'll show you the buttons to press. All right. So up top, press and hold these two. That gets that setting up while it's in this clip-on state. Yes, your um, select button, so you can put your borderline up, and then you can also, you know, do your Y and X axis, so um, left, right, up, down. Mating your thermal to your scope in a clip-on state. It is that easy to do. It took me a long time to fig figure it out and fix the issue, but now I'm getting my inch, two inch groups at 100 meters, you know, uh, 200 meters. It is, it is the best thing I've ever purchased uh, for hunting. I've thrown my spotlight in the bin. But um, just give me one sec, guys. I've just got to turn the camera around and um, we'll have a bit more of a yarn. Guys, right, so that's, just, that's how easy it is to sight your clip on in, a, in the Thunder TH35PC Hick Micro T Day Scope. Very, very easy. Two top buttons here. That one and that one, press and hold in the clip-on form, because otherwise it won't come up. Press and hold these two. Hold your menu button to select your different, um, your horizon line, your borderline, and then your Y and X axis to bring it around. It's that simple to do it. Um, when you, and obviously your tape, your sticky tape on your, as a reference guide, so it's always back to square. Now, for a target, you can use just a your plain Jane target, whatever, out in the paddock, have it on a, bit of an offset angle with a piece of aluminium foil on it, so it'll pick the heat up. Um, you can use it, you can use these in the daytime. The sensor will be able to run in the day, but don't point at the sun, because it'll burn the sensor out and you'll, you'll be up for $3,700 for another one. Now, that's it. It's easy as that. Um, I had one of the, the guys in the comment section ask to do a video, um, so it's actually a good idea because this was a pain in the ass to side in, and now it's sorted. It can be just that easy for you guys. Righto. Hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, um, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video. And hopefully, when things get cooler, we'll be out and about at night time doing what we do and loving it. Right, guys. Love your work. See you on the next one. See ya.